Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank God. Thank God for everyone that's here today. We really do give God praise for you. Blood bought church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. We just want to say we thank thank all of you, my church family. Thank all of you for supporting us on yesterday. My mom, sister passed, and, and uh, we want to thank you for supporting us and praying for us. I want to say to you, I felt your prayers and, and your presence. Thank you for showing up, and Sister Banks and I, we thank you very much for supporting us and praying for us. Amen. And, and on the service yesterday, I just sensed, uh, I sensed the release of God's presence and spirit. So, amen. What the, what the devil meant for evil. Come on, I'm going to say that again because some of y'all didn't get it. I said what the devil meant for evil. Lord, God's going to turn it around. You feel him turning some stuff around? What the devil meant for evil. So you weren't coming out. God's going to turn it around. And it's going to work for you. Tell your neighbor, it's going to work for your good. So, 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 so on that little note right there, I, I can't, I can't skip this. So if it's going to work for my good, uh, 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 tell, talk to a neighbor say, if it's going to work for my good, I might as well give God thanks for all that crash. <coughs> all my haters. All my troubles. All the time I got put in jail. All the time I just messed up. Come on. That thing went for my good right now. It made me throw my hands up. It made me give God a real praise. Tell him it's working for my good. It's working. It's working. You might talk about it, but it's working for my good. Stop. I just had to get that out of there. I said, since it's working for my good, thank God for my haters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get that revelation. It's working for my good. And that, and that, and that's something. God said, "Everything you went to work for your good." Turn to the neighbor and say, "Bob, say, Lord, that thing hurt me though." <laughs> but then look on the other side and say, "But God said, work for my good." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It worked for my good. It worked for my good. Come on, give him a praise. It worked for my good. I feel that one, bro. Woo! <laughs> Turn to the neighbor. I knew they were talking about me, but it worked for my good. Say amen, Adam. Amen. Look what the Lord has done. Look how God done brought me out. Uh -huh. Look how God done brought me through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all better leave me alone. I, I feel like preaching this morning. King of South, hallelujah. I say I feel like preaching this morning. I feel like preaching, son. King of South, hallelujah. Out of all the stuff I've been through, shopping neighbors, I still got my joy. <laughs> I still got my joy. Still got my peace. Still got my praise. King of South, hallelujah. 
Thank you, baby. Still got it. Still got it. Still got victory. Oh. Hallelujah. I know I got to stop this for time. See, I, right, I feel like preaching this. I, got, I know I got to move. I got to call a special ministry. I got, I got my cousins in here. I see them in, up north. Y'all stand up. Let everybody see my, my beautiful cousins. Put your hand together for them. Amen. Amen. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Amen. Love you, honey. Love you. God bless you. Love you. Amen. God bless you. God's good, isn't he? Well, before I call this special ministry up, my God, he's a good God, isn't he? I thought about that thing right in the scripture. I know I'm got to let y'all, I know I got to let y'all go. I thought about that thing in the scripture. The Bible said Jacob, he wrestled with the angel. I know y'all want to shout on that, me too. I said he wrestled all night with an angel. And, 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 and some of us done got to a place in our life now that you telling God, I ain't going to let you go until you bless me. I done went through too much hell. Can I feel that. I feel that one. And I ain't going to let you go till you bless me. Slap your neighbor and say, he got to bless me. He got to bless me. Find somebody and tell them, he got to bless me. I'll be telling y'all to find somebody. Find somebody. Find somebody. Y'all act like y'all don't know that the Holy Ghost uses you. Find somebody. He got to bless me. He got to bless me, man. All this stuff I done went through. All the hell I done went through. Sit around and listen to that. People talk about me. Tell them I done come through all that. My God, he got to bless me. I ain't going to let him go till he bless me. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it again. Say he got the bless me. I ain't going to let him go till he bless me. I ain't going to turn him loose till he bless me. Y'all might as well leave me alone because I got to get my blessing. Hallelujah. 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 Watch me. Y'all already know that an angel is a powerful being. That one angel in the scripture slew 185,000 men. One angel. But Jacob that got so desperate, he telling this angel. And the text says that the angel said, let me go. Jacob said, I ain't letting you go till you bless me. Now you mean to tell me this angel had to wrestle with this man all night? And he, don't care, he can kill 185,000 men. Tell you, man, when I get desperate, I, I don't know what happened. When I get desperate, man, when I get desperate, when I get desperate, God, I want you. I, I want you, God. I want more of you, God. I, I want what I'm be seeking you for. Watch it. I got a quote on this. You know when God finally know that you mean business, when he finally know that you mean business, 
he, you know, when the angel finally knew that Jacob mean business, you know, he, he asked Jacob, he said, now, he said, what's your name? Jacob said, my name is Jacob. That simply means he came to reality with himself. God, I messed up. I'm a deceiver. I'm crazy. I did all that. See, see, you, you got that? See, when, 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 see, Jacob denied who he was earlier. But, time, but, but he know when God, how many know, even though Jacob denied it, God still brought him through. But listen at the text. That text says, when God said, the, the angel of the Lord said, hey, the sun coming up and I got to go. And the, watch the text, watch the text, I like this. He hit him in the thigh and broke it. Jacob falls to the ground. Right? Bless your daughter, daughter. He falls to the ground. And, 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 and now the text says, Jacob gets up with a limp. Slap a neighbor and say, I got a limp. But I'm blessed. I know you're going to be talking about me with my limp. But tell him, I got a limp. But I'm blessed. Give me some hallelujah. Now slap your neighbor high five to all the hell I done been through. God still and bless my life. Come on, give him a praise. I'm limping, but I'm blessed. I got some defaults, but I'm blessed. Can they hallelujah? <laughs> Okay, okay. And, and those of y'all that know the story Jacob Jacob latter end was better than his former end tell him say even though I got a limp my former gonna be better my, my latter gonna be better than my former can you say hallelujah come on pat your hand and give God a good praise come on give him a good praise in here throw your head back and say yeah Bless you, God. My God, I feel it. What? Sit down, y'all. The army of the living God. That's my text for the day, y'all. I already done preached over half of my message. Go ahead and point out three people. Say, you are the army of the living God. You the army, army of the living God. Yet the devil looked like it looked like we weak. But all of this territory that we're taking, can you say hallelujah? It looked like we ain't all that, but we are the army of the living God. Can you say hallelujah? And just because you are here today, we are wrecking havoc over the enemy's kingdom. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I need a church to holler back at me. Hallelujah. Shut the name and say, open your mouth and holler back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for your children. Hallelujah for your house. Hallelujah for your prosperity. Hallelujah for your ministry. Hallelujah. If you feel like war in the day, I feel like who I am, a warrior. Bow. Ask us how we get through all we get through. We're the blood bought church of the living God. Oh my God. I better let these people come up here and dance. Let me let these people come up here and dance. Cause I'm, I'm about to come out there in them pews, y'all. I'm about to come out there in them pews. Y'all, boy. Yeah, I'm about to. Ooh, y'all better not let me fall either. Hallelujah. 
We're going to open the doors of our church today to also to we're going to let you know that. We're going to open the doors of our church today. And those of you that want to become a member of this church, you have seen it and you know what we're all about. We're going to be here till Jesus comes. Say amen. Say amen. And, 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 uh, and you, you are convinced now that God has called you together with this spiritual family to do kingdom work. We're going to, we're going to open the doors of our church and you want to participate and be a part of that. We're going to ask you to come forth. We'll give you the right hand of fellowship. Amen. And we are welcoming you into this body of Christ where we are sisters and brothers and lifting up the kingdom. Say amen. Not, not tearing down one another, but building up one another. Can you shout amen? Find somebody and tell them, I come to build you up. Uh-oh, you see them now? Some of y'all just sorry. Find somebody and say, I come to build you up. I might not feel like praising God, but I think if I praise God, I'll build you up. Wow, you done build me up today. You, you, you'd be surprised at the people that you done build up. Except because you done just prayed to God like, my God, y'all, y'all, some, y'all about to give God some praise. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, you don't know how many people you done built up because you praise God and you was hollering at me and you were smiling and you were giving high five. Tell them I come to build you up. Build you up. Hallelujah. All right, I got the cut off. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. 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 Thank God for my mom. I thank God for a strong woman. Strong woman. Strong. I mess with her, but she's a strong woman. That's where I get my strength from. I came from good genes. Strong woman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus. My mom kind of remind me of something. I sent the text to Anquan. I sent the text to him because you know how you know how sometimes you start listening at what people say. You know, in the NFL, they tell you when you get over 30, you're back to the end of your thing. I sent the message to him. I was full with the Holy Ghost driving down the highway. I said, mm -mm -mm. I said, hey, Caleb. Some of y'all ain't got that yet. I told I, I called him before. I said, hey, Caleb. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Caleb told Joshua. He got over and he was a young man. He said, God promised me this stuff. This land. You know, he was young when he promised it to him. But the Bible said when he got over in the land, he was 80 years old. But Caleb stepped out and said, oh, my, oh, my. Remember, my, remember what I said when I was a young man? He said, now I'm 80 years old and my strength still right here. I can take all the, I can take all the giants. People got to get out of my land. Can you say hallelujah? Tell your neighbor I'm well able to take it. Tell me about what I can do. Turn to your neighbor and say, what's up, Caleb? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. To the women say, hey, Calibra. I got a daughter here named Calibra, but we get, we get Calibra from Caleb. Give me a shout out name. Uh-huh. Daughters of Zion. Come on, let's pray. Let's do it. Scripture text. And then I'll finish what what the Spirit of the Lord has has uh, dropped on my heart to say. All right, turn turn to Corinthian, please. First Corinthian. 
First Corinthians, and and let's look at the twelfth chapter again. Okay. All right. All right. Turn to your neighbor and tell that neighbor, "Hey, neighbor, we are one body." All right. Now I'm telling. You. Now I want you to think about what you just said. Tell them we are one body. Now I want you to look at your body. You one body. Amen. See your body? One. And I turn to the other side and say, neighbor, we're one body, but we have many members. Amen. And tell them again, your members makes up the body. Amen. All the members of the body is important. Amen. What could you do without your hands? What could... What could you do without your eyes? Your nose can't see. Neither can your ears smell. All the members, parts of your body is very important. If you had no legs, you can't walk. Amen. You have to have legs to walk. Feet. All, every member is very important. Amen. And when you see a person that do, do not have all the members of their body, then they, they have to try and function along in life to get along as best as they can. Amen. They might get where we're going, but they're going to get there a little slower. No man without legs cannot run me. I'll let y'all sink that in, huh? If that man not run you, you need help. Amen. Members of the body is very, very important. Are you hearing me? So we are, we, we one body, but we have many members. Are you hearing me? Okay. What's, what's happening? What's happening? I'm trying to preach. Y'all come on. Let me, what, what's this? Don't, don't, don't you interrupt me like that. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, y'all come straight to me when stuff like that happens. Auntie Joy and Uncle they can't wake up. Just, just settle down. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you now. We'll give you praise for it right now. And we, we command in Jesus' name for life to come back in her body. And we give you the praise. We don't know what ails her, but you do. So we turn it over into your hands. In the name of Jesus, for the glory of God. God tell the neighbor, say, and it is so. Amen. Amen. Be strong. Be strong. Amen. 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 See, that's what the body is for. See, the body is, the body is for here. The body can produce power. Can you shout Amen. But but we got to watch out. We handle the body. Can you say amen? amen? Amen. Amen. Well, let them go out there and, and the rest of us sit down and let's get the word. They, they're going to be all right. They're going to be all right. Open the door. Amen. Amen. That's good, isn't it? All right. Let's get the word. Say amen. So now it's important, it's important that we understand how how it, it, how important it is for us as the body of Christ that every one of us in here as one we are members turn to a neighbor and say all the members are important amen everybody is important amen amen if, if I, you know my eyes has to be important if I had no eyes then I can't see amen the mouth can't do what the nose can do the nose can't do what the mouth can do. If I had no mouth, then I couldn't taste. I couldn't talk. Amen. So every, every member has a specific work. Okay? And it's special for the body. The body cannot function properly if all the members is not cooperating. Can you say that? Amen. 
And I think this is the analogy that we're going to read from the scripture today. We're going to read this from the scripture today, and we're going to see this analogy that Paul writes back to the Corinthian church. Now, I was saying something during our exhortation while we was in praise and worship. Let me tell you something, that the body of Christ, now listen to me, this is important. We have to understand how important it is being saved, brothers and sisters, how important it is that we come together and collectively glorify and call on the name of the Lord. Now, Jesus said this statement in the 16th chapter of Matthew, 16th chapter. He says, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. I'm going to build my church. And he was not talking about a building. He wasn't talking about a building. He said, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. And he said, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Can they shout amen? amen. I feel my help now, bro. Amen. Say amen. 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 We got to learn how to walk in some authority. Amen. Can they shout amen? Amen. amen. We got to learn how to walk in some authority. Some of it, can they shout amen? I know we're going to go through some dilemmas and go through some stuff in life, but how many know God giving us victory over everything? And I know sometimes, hey, I ain't talking about my feelings. Sometimes I feel a little bad, but I still got victory. Can they shout amen? I still got victory. Victory belongs to the peoples of God. Can they shout amen? So God has collectively called us, into, to this, called us to this body. This body. Okay? The body. Guess who our head is? Christ is the head. Who the head of the body? Jesus the Christ. He's the head of the body. Can they shout amen? So how do you think this is a weak body when Jesus is the head of it? Are you hearing me? Jesus is the head of the body, so how do you think this is a weak body? This can't be no weak body. Can they shout amen? amen. Now, Jesus said, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. Amen. I'm going to build my church. What is the church? The church is a body of baptized believers that are in Christ Jesus. Can they shout amen? That's what the church is, a body of baptized believers in Christ Jesus. Remember, the moment you said, Lord Jesus, I confess that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. Come into my heart and save me. Watch this. And I make you the Lord of my life. The moment you do that, you enter now into the body of Christ. You enter into the body of Christ. And that's called the church. That's the church. The church is called the body of Christ. If you start reading in 1 Corinthians, that's what you're going to be reading about. All the, time, the body of Christ. And it's called the church. The church started on the day of Pentecost. Acts to the second chapter and the very first verse said, when the day of Pentecost has fully come, the Holy Ghost fell on the 120 saints that was in the upper room. That's when the church started and empowered them. The Holy Ghost came down and empowered them to become all that God wanted them to become. Turn and tell your neighbor, saying, we are part of that church. Right now. We are a part of that church that started on the day of Pentecost. Can they shout amen? So we are in a special entity, folk. We are in a special entity. I don't know. Listen, I don't know how, how value, valuable you, you take uh, your position in, inside Jesus. But, but, I, but I understand my position. And I, and I, and I take it. And I take it. Look, it's all, it's, it's all I am. This, this, this is number one in my life. Jesus, the church, the body of Christ. We have to understand that in the midst, in the midst of this, you have to understand in the midst of what we're doing right now, the power of God rests. Amen. I said the power of God rests in the midst of it. Can this out? Amen. So now we have to understand that now, now God has promised us some things. That's why he said, if any of you sick, let him call for the elders of the church. That's James 5th chapter. Right? If any of you sick, call for the elders of the church. And they're going to lay hands on you and the prayer of faith going to save the sick. And the Lord going to raise them up. Watch this. And if they have committed any sin, you ain't got to ask God to forgive you. That's the scripture. Five. Fifth chapter of, 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 uh, of, of uh, James. 
and say if, if, any, and say if they commit any sin, it's going to be forgiven them. Because there's power in the church. Amen. Amen. God has given the church power to release people from sin. Ooh, that's powerful. And so you have to understand, I have to understand that we're a part of a special entity. Where do, where do God dwell at in the church? Where do, God, where do God dwell at in the earth? God dwell in the midst of the church. You watch it. Y'all listen at me now. You watch it. Watch, watch. And, and I know we talk about television evangelism and all that. And I know everything that come on TV is not of God. But, but there are some preachers on there that God has ordained. And, and all you got to do is open your Bible and keep and follow. And I, love, I, love, I love Pastor Hagee. I love Pastor Hagee. And God has opened up his ministry and, he, and God has given him a vision of the prophetic praise, a, a prophetic word that he can minister to the whole body of Christ. And so that we can see how soon Jesus is to come. And he rightly divided the scripture. He rightly divided the word of God. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. If, if, if this world going to make it, if, if, if this world going to hear from God, it got to hear from God through the church. Are you hearing me? You're a part of something special. You got to stop coming right here. I can like you're a part of just, I, mean, I don't know what you, sometimes I don't even know what y'all be thinking, but we're a part of something very special. Ain't no hidden miss in God. Amen. God, everything, everything God does, it has purpose for your life. Amen. If the enemy could have destroyed you years ago, he would have. But he can't. He can't destroy you. You're a part of something that's special. The church. The body of Christ. Amen. And God has the last, so, has the last saying in the midst of the church. And God has raised it. He's raised up pastors. He's raised up apostles. He's raised up prophets. He's raised these men up because, now watch me, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Build the church up. Why? And to let the world know how soon Jesus is to come. Amen. Can they shout amen? amen? That shouldn't be, now look, the coming of Jesus shouldn't be no shock to us. Jesus, Jesus, the coming of Jesus, he can come the, the day. If you listen to pro prophetic messages today, the, the Lord Jesus can come right now. Amen. So the, the body of Christ, members of the body of Christ, you will have to understand how important this is. That's why people, see, when we as the body of Christ, listen at me, I come here today to build you up, not to tear you down. But in order for me to build you up, we got to talk about some of the things that, we, uh, some of the things that we just not committed. Some of the things that hinder us as the body of Christ. The devil knows he can't stop the church, but he'll sure try to hinder you. He'll try to cut off a leg. So now you got to hop your way to destiny. You can't run to destiny. Are you hearing me? So he'll try to cut off a leg, cut off an arm or something, so he can keep us, so he can have us maimed. Amen. He, yeah, he want to slow us down, hinder us, and don't want us to receive all the benefits that's due to us. Can they shout amen? Hey, turn to your neighbor, help me preach today. So I ain't got time for no flesh now. <laughs> ain't nothing but the devil, just flesh, just creep up, come up anywhere. And we at the body of Christ, we just subdue to it, you know. Oh, polar me. The flesh, sit down. We ain't thinking about that. Say Amen. Try just going to come. Trouble going to come. And you need to sit right here acting like we ain't got no victory. Some of the stuff that come up has already happened in our life over and over again. And we still acting like we wimps. Please say amen. Some of, our, some of this stuff come up in our life and that happened to us over and over. We done lost jobs. We, we done... They don't repossess our cars. Some of y'all might have never happened, but you only got put out your house. Can't find no house. Things didn't happen. We done been into bad relationships. 
It ain't going to stop today. Save as you are. Somebody else going to get in the morning. I hope not, but <laughs> more probable than not. Okay? So don't be sitting right here acting like if the end of the world comes to something happen. Get you some knowledge. Okay, God, it happened. It hurt me. Hey, okay, God, uh, get me through this. Sometimes you got to square your shoulders up and just be a, be a soldier. Tell your neighbor, be who God made you. Sometimes you got to stop acting like a wimp and be who God made you to be. You're stronger than what you acting like. It's more than you than what we see. If it wasn't, you wouldn't be here today. God planted in you some stuff, and that's why you ain't done yet. Amen. If it was up to the devil, you would have been finished. There was no way you could have been here. Say amen. But the hand of God is on you. Hallelujah. Let me tell y'all, sir. When I, if I got ready to die, don't y'all be saying I have no pity part for me. Uh, yeah. mm -mm. Give me the mic. Let me preach till I die. I'm going to be preaching out of here. Hallelujah. Now, ain't nobody feel sorry for me. Don't do none of that. Because hey, hey, everybody want to go to heaven, but nobody want to die. How you think you're going to get the glory? Oh, now you're looking at me. How you going to get to heaven if you don't die? You got to leave here. You know, when I get ready to die, man, y'all, man, my God. Hallelujah. Y'all come around me shouting. Speaking in tongues. Do something. Give me that amen. And if the Lord told me I'm going home, I said, hey, y'all, don't need to pray to my tail of Jesus. I'm going home. I see y'all the glory. Can you say amen? amen. Hey, ain't nobody saying right here. Ain't nobody scared of no death. Ain't nobody scared of no sickness. Ain't nobody scared of no poverty. How many know God has given us victory over all of that? Touch that name and say, we the church. Power exists in the church. Can you say hallelujah? And what Jesus has done for the church, we operate in it and we walk in power. Already know that death ain't got power over us. Jesus already displayed that. He told him before he died. He said, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna hang on this car and I'm gonna die. In three days, I'm gonna die. And the third day, man, please. Touch that neighbor and say, hey, don't worry about death. Death ain't nothing but a vehicle. Ride me on the glory. Can you shout hallelujah? Give me that hallelujah. And then, and then you come around the church and try to make it have no sad sight. Oh, we're going to bless the name of the Lord. Give me that hallelujah. Take that name and say, for me to live is Christ. But to die is my game. You ain't got to be sitting out here having no pity party for me. I live this life so I can live again. Why you think I live this life? Give me that hallelujah. Man, tell your neighbor, we're going we're going to heaven one day. My God, can this out soon and very soon? Yeah, we going to see the king. Can this out hallelujah? Can this out hallelujah? I don't know what folk we sit right here for. I ain't got no pity party. I'm the, I'm, I'm the church of the blood. I'm the blood bought church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can this out hallelujah? And if he got victory, I got victory. Can this out hallelujah? I said, if, if he got victory, I got victory. I sit back down, look at Daddy Mike and Mama Mike. I look at them. And they, they, they done had a full life. They going to be with the Lord one day. I never forget. I witnessed the Daddy Mike, and he was an old. He was an old man. What about four, three, four years ago? I witnessed to him in his house. I went to his house. I told somebody. Well, I don't know. Who, I said, the Lord leading me to go around to Daddy Mike's house, and I sit down in his front room and I and I and I led him to the Lord. I said, you want to be saved? He said, yeah, I want to be saved. Daddy Mike had already told me he wasn't going to nobody's church, but he said, if I go to somebody's church, I'm coming to you. You know why? Because he watched my life when I was around him. Are you hearing me? And that, that, the man, let me tell you something. Jesus is Lord. I might be so imperfect, but Jesus is Lord. Can you say hallelujah? Uh, no, no, uh, Jesus is Lord. Hey, 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 everything Jesus said is right. Can you say amen? And one day, I know I ain't going to be here forever. One day, I'm going to get up out of here.
Can you shout hallelujah? Send death, send glory. We sit around like we're a wimp church and don't know what's happening. We know what's happening. We understand what's happening. Jesus didn't give us victory over everything. Can you shout hallelujah? Touch your neighbor and say, I ain't like it then. I feel some stuff, but I know. You think I want to lose my mama? I love my mama. I love her to death. But I'm glad she's saved. Boy, yeah, hey, hey, y'all might see the real black man come out of me. My mama, man, everybody sitting down there talking about my mama. Man, man y'all better shout me. Look at your shout. Come rubbing me on my head. Get your hand off my head. Shout. <laughs> no, no, don't rub me. Don't shout. My mama going to glory. Can you shout hallelujah? Come on, y'all won't believe that? My God, that's why you should try to get them people saved. I know they're going to hurt you when they leave here, but I'll see them again. Can you shout amen? When they leave this earth, it's just a vehicle to take them to God. Take them in the presence of God. Give me a amen. And you know once we start getting old, everything hurt. Sometimes they be, I be sitting to me. Sometimes they be talking about, me, take me out there. Y'all be talking about, please don't let them die. This is my, God, don't let me go home. And then live 80 years old almost into my pleading. And they're trying to get where Jesus is. Can, uh, can they shout amen? I mean, you know, you know, I, I believe God got a way. God got to put a grace on people. I believe God got dying grace. Y'all don't hear me. I believe God got dying grace. I believe when I get ready to die, death ain't even gonna hurt me. My y'all don't hear what I say. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to move from one place to another. I'm going to move from this life to the next life. I prophesy about church. So some of y'all just going to move from one life to the next. See my mother last sitting over there. She ain't going to do nothing but move from one life to the next life. Can you say hallelujah? Amen. Uh, now she, they blessing my heart right now. They, man, she's faithful and they love God. And they love God. And they love the things of God. They love, she love her son-in-law. She said, I'm the best preacher in the world. Y'all ain't a y'all got to say nothing about that. She said, I'm the best preacher in the world. If anybody can pray for my mother-in-law, I can pray for her. You ain't got to let me pray for you. I got somebody that know that I can get a prayer through. Give me some hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise in here, y'all. Shut your name and say, I come to build you up. Come on, come on. I said, tell him I come to build you up. I ain't come to sit right here and no pretty party. Give me some hallelujah. Even if you're going through something, God is able to bring you out of it. You are a blood-bought church of the living God. Give me some hallelujah. You are more than a conqueror. You can do all things through Christ that strengthen you. Give God a praise, y'all. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I feel that. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, give me about 15 more minutes. I'm quitting this. Can you say hallelujah? Come on, blood bought church of the Lord Jesus. Can you say hallelujah? Turn and tell your neighbor, scream your face up. God allowed you to go through that. And whatever he allowed you to go through, he is able to bring you out. Can you shout hallelujah? God has allowed you to go through it. And what he has allowed you to go through, that trial can't kill you. That burden can't kill you. Whatever you're going through can't take your life. Can you shout hallelujah? Come on, give God a praise, y'all. The blood bought church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love it. I love it. Can you shout hallelujah? Can no man take your life? Come on, tell that neighbor. Can no try to take my life? Can no storm take my life? The storm ain't gonna do nothing but help me. The trial ain't gonna do nothing but help me. Can you shout hallelujah? Everything the devil try to do ain't gonna do nothing but help me. I ain't gonna go nowhere that God get ready for me. If God ain't ready for me, 
nothing else can overcome it. Come on, all you overcomers, give God a praise. Where my overcomers at? Come on, all you overcomers. Hallelujah. Do it one more time. Tell her I come to build you up. We come to be built up. We come to be set up. Can you sound hallelujah? Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Ain't nobody going to be looking at you funny because you praising God. They don't know what you're going through. That's why you come to church. You come to give God some glory. Nobody don't know what you're dealing with. We come to church to be quiet. We come to church to glorify God. And let God know, God, we love you. And we can do all things through Christ that's strengthening us. Hallelujah. Woo. Tell the first text that I come to build you up. I tell you what, if you build up somebody else, God will build you up. Oh, you heard what I said? I said if you build up somebody else, God will build you up. What you do for others, God will make happen for you. Give me some hallelujah. If you bless other people, God will bless you. You got that? Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I feel like I'm walking on cloud. Give me some hallelujah. Girl, don't talk, talk for me. Talk for me. Talk for me. I know you ain't bothering your neighbor. I know I tell y'all this, but talk for me. Tell your neighbor, say, Bishop ain't cocky. He's just confident that God can do anything. He can keep a marriage together. He can save a boy that's on drugs. He can save a daughter that's on crack. He can save, he can save, he can deliver. Can I say he can deliver? Can this have hallelujah? He can put us back on right track. You make Jesus the Lord of your house. Your daughter get in line. Stop crying so much. Just make Jesus the Lord. Your son will get in line. Find your Holy Ghost field church and start speaking the thing. Y'all gonna make me preach. I'm give me some hallelujah. I say, I say, just get your I say, I say, call the thing that be not as though they were. Ain't nobody got time for the devil. I told my daughter the other night, we ain't talking about this flesh stuff. Hallelujah. Most times you know what the devil is doing. So why are you going to sit around and fret it? You in the army. Now find out what you need to do to combat it. That's preaching right there. People come around the church, somebody they feeling sorry. I don't feel like praising the God. You better put on the garment of praise. What the garment of praise for? Spirit of heaviness. You sit right here looking at all heaven when somebody feel sorry for you. You better put the garment of praise on. Give me some hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, put on the garment of praise. I tell you what, you can't be sent out of me like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You let me find a seat. Mm -mm. I might decide to start sending out in the congregation. Yeah, I bet I have you. You say that to me today. Look down your way and say, uh oh, oh, oh. My Lord's in trouble. <laughs> Kidding us out, hallelujah. Come on, tell me, my Lord's in trouble. Everything on this road, y'all might as well get a pigeon because you're finna praise God. Hallelujah! Everything on this road about to walk in victory. Uh oh, uh oh. Give this out, hallelujah. Come on, pat that hand, give God a praise. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. All right, I got 10 minutes. I'm about to quit. Boy, I'm about to shout. Some of y'all making me shout. Man, I look back at some of y'all and I see what y'all have been through. I tell a joke, when I, when I know you done come through some daughter, I say, leave her alone. How you gonna talk about her? Leave, leave him alone. How you gonna talk about them? You don't know what they done been through. 
can this out, hallelujah. The real warriors. It's not about how many times you fall, it's about how many times you get up. Tell that neighbor, I've been a getter upper. I've been a getter upper. I just didn't stay there. I felt like staying there, but I got up. I didn't have no power to get up, but something on the inside of me wouldn't let me lay there. Can you say hallelujah? I've been a getter upper. I, I know how to get up. Because you are a part of the blood boat church of the living God. Can you say hallelujah? And the blood of Jesus run through your veins. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said. I said the blood of Jesus run through your veins. Uh, I'm gonna say, I said the blood of Jesus run through your veins. Uh, it, this, this blood go way past relation blood. Mm -mm -mm. I said the blood of Jesus run through your veins. Can you shout hallelujah? So if his blood run through your veins, how many know you got part of his DNA? God, dog, that, boy, that blessed me right there. Tell that name, I got part of Jesus' DNA. I'm a water walking, man. Water walking. I, I talk to demons. I, I cast devils out. Can you say hallelujah? I walk on top of stuff that you think I can't walk on. Trials can't kill me. My haters can't stop me. Can you say hallelujah? The greater one lives in me. Hey, where you at, church? Come on, give God a good praise. See, I know you thought I wasn't going to make it. Turn to a neighbor and tell me, I know you thought I wasn't going to make it. Sometimes church people give up on you. Sometimes church people start talking to you. But thank God, God ain't left me in the hand of a man. Touch that neighbor and say, the blood of Jesus run through my veins. I got the DNA of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep the son, hallelujah. He went to hell and got victory over hell. He went to the grave and got victory over death. And I got the same DNA in me. Hell can't hold me down. Death can't stop me. Keep the son, hallelujah. Y'all better make me preach it, yeah. Give me that amen. Give me that hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet. Pick your Bibles up. I told you I ain't going to keep y'all long. Pick your Bibles up. Stand on your feet. Give me that amen. You are not of the world. And you need to stop living like you are the world. You need to understand that you are part of something special. That has, this, that, that has been created by God. Watch this scripture right here. I know y'all know it. You are a new creation. Creation. Old things passed away. Other words, what used to conquer you can't conquer you anymore. What used to have victory over you ain't don't have victory over you anymore. Would you please prophesy to your name and say, Death has no victory over me? Do it again. I, I, I think I need to do this. Tell him, Death has no victory over me. Tell him, I ain't scared of death because I can't die. Until God say my life is over. And then I'm going home to be with him. And don't y'all dare try to pray me back. Why you think I'm going through all this back bite? Why you think I'm going through all these trials? Why you think I'm going through all this stuff? I want to go to heaven. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just passing through. Kidding us out, hallelujah. Touch your neighbors. I'm on my way to heaven. We just passing. We strangers right here. Mm. 
Hallelujah. 12, 12, 12. 12, 12. Uh huh. Y'all standing up? Good. The human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. See that? Turn to your neighbor and say, you the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. 13th verse. Some of us are Jews. Some of us are Gentiles. Some of us are black. Some of us are white. Some of us are Hispanic. Some of us are whatever. So then he says, some of you are slaves. Some of you are free. Remember the, the, the text now in Paul time that they had slaves. He said, but we have all been baptized into one body by what? One spirit. And we all share of the same spirit. Ooh, we. Come on, y'all ain't got that. I said, we share the same spirit. Since this with me. Since it. Since this. The spirit of God hooked me up. Then they're going to hook up. And then they hook you up. Hook up. All of us hooked up. See? The spirit of God hooking you up. Everybody, all of us in here is hooked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, can this out, amen? It's the same spirit. Can this out, amen? It's the same Holy Ghost. Amen. So when I see my brother overcoming, that means that I can overcome. Because it's the same spirit. Can this out, amen? When I see my sister walking out, that means I can walk out of it. Because it's the same spirit. Can this out, amen? It's the same spirit that joined us together. It's the Holy Ghost got us connected. Because you save. And so it's the Spirit of God that brings you to the body of Christ. Can this out, amen? All right, let's do that 14th verse. Yes, the body has many different parts. Not just one part. 15th verse. If the foot says, I am not a part of the body because I am not the hand, that does not make it any less a part of the body. 16th verse. And if the ear says, I am not a part of the body because it's not the eye, would that make it any less a part of the body? 17th verse. If the whole body were an eye, get that picture. What if you just was a big eye? I'm talking about it's just a big eye. I stick you right in your eye. He said, thank God the whole body ain't just an eye. It says, it says something different. If the whole body were an eye, how would you hear? Or if your whole body were an ear, how would you smell anything? But our bodies have many parts. And God has put each part just where he wants it. 19 verse. How strange a body would be if it had only one part. 20 verse. Yes, there are many parts, but only one body. 21st verse. The eye can never say to the hand, I don't need you. Isn't that good? The eye can never say to the hand that I don't need you. Hey, look up for a minute. Have you ever got a bug in your eye? Did the eye tell the hand, don't touch me? <laughs> I, I don't matter what the hand do. Arr! It come and see about the eye. Because the hand is uncomfortable too. When one part of the body hurt, all of it hurt. Go and touch that neighbor and tell him God kind of get us connected. So we can learn how to build one another up. You ain't strange to me, man. I love you, boy. Come on, tell that neighbor, daughter, you ain't strange to me. I love you, sis. I might not spend no time with you, but you part of me. Can this out hallelujah? I love you. You part of me. And for real, I'm telling y'all, the those of you that I don't spend a lot of time with, I'm praying one day that God can call me and you to spend some time together. And I believe you're going to come to fruition. I know you got to go to this, and I got to go to here, and I got to go to there, and you see me on on Sunday, and la, 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 la. But I'm praying one day that God give us some time so we can strengthen one another and build up one another. I'm going to tell y'all this. You know why I love the fellowship dinner, and I ain't, and, and I ain't just trying to... Boy, you know I love the fellowship dinner. I love the fellowship dinner so I can come and talk to the saints. So I can sit around and eat with y'all and see what you see how much y'all eating. 
I come to fellowship with the saints. Well, hey, well, I just come to sit down and talk. I go to everybody's table, sit down and talk, and, 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 and let's, let's, let's talk. Hey, amen. I love fellowshipping with the saints because we're all part of the body. Many members, but one body. I'm cutting off. I got to cut off. That's it.